Carol Kirkwood, 59, has sent her apologies to a BBC colleague in a tweet this morning. Her co-star then responded with a tongue-in-cheek comeback to Carol. The BBC Breakfast star said that she was listening to Live in Vida Loca by Ricky Martin and the song got stuck in her head. She went on to apologize to fellow BBC weather presenter Nick Miller for her singing while at work. Carol penned, driving in this morning, I heard Live in La Vida Loca on the radio. It is now totally stuck in my head. Sorry for the singing at Weather Nick 30. Nick replied, with a short quip about working next to a jukebox. He said, if I wanted to work next to a jukebox. Followed by a red love heart. At John Ofla Dublin responded to Nick's reply with, sounds like you're in for an experience quite like no other this morning Nick. Would you do requests Carol? Carol then responded with a series of laughing emojis. The tweet and its responses were in full view of Carol's 219,600 followers. Other fans were quick to jump onto the tweet and offer their thoughts, too. At Jerzens wrote, that's not so bad. The other week I had the theme from the Muppet show stuck in my head, so embarrassing. Similarly, at Kel Bacon penned, morning. Nicer than the one I've had stuck in my head for days. Dot it's the one that goes, now I'm 60 years old. I don't even know who sings it. What a dirge. At Pete underscore Yates Bend. Good morning Carol it's lovely to see on this morning just a shame that the weather not so nice for the week index. At Dolroyder said, no worries. As long as you don't burst into song while giving the weather report you will be fine. At Stixago commented, give us a wee blast of it live on telly, when you're telling us how blowy it's gonna be in salt coats at the weekend. Carol Kirkwood presents the weather on BBC Breakfast, alongside Nick Miller, former colleague Louise Minchin took to Twitter yesterday to show support for Carol after the latter teased her new book project. Here's a clue. Weather girl Carol said, showing off an image of herself holding a copy of her upcoming novel, The Hotel on the Riviera. Carol is a Sunday Times best-selling author, but that didn't stop Louise, who left BBC Breakfast last year, from giving her further encouragement. Whoop, whoop, how exciting! She tweeted in reply, 